Hi and welcome to the Ontario Pesticide Vendor Certification Course. My name is Steve Speller. Today we're going to talk about pesticide poisonings and first aid. A bit of a disclaimer before we start. What I'm about to show you is some good guidelines for dealing with pesticide poisonings and f using first aid. However, it certainly doesn't replace a proper uh, first aid course and CPR course. I would highly recommend that for the help of your co-workers, uh, family, and anyone else you may come across that's in need, take that first aid course, uh, learn how to properly uh, administer it, and uh, be able to help people out when necessary. Let's begin. We'll first of all look at some of the symptoms of pesticide poisonings. Mild pesticide poisonings uh, can include symptoms such as headaches, fatigue, loss of appetite, dizziness, weakness, nausea, thirst, irritation to skin, eyes, nose, or throat. Moderate symptoms of poisoning include nausea, trembling, hard to breathe, vomiting, loss of muscle control, cramps, and blurred vision. Severe pesticide poisoning symptoms can include vomiting, the inability to breathe, muscle twitches, shaking, tiny pupils, thirst, and fever. Let's talk about some of the basics of first aid when it applies to pesticide poisonings. First and foremost, in any first aid situation, always protect yourself from injury first. If you find a patient that's covered with pesticide, that means putting on your own personal protective equipment before going into the scene. Also check that the scene is safe and make sure there's no electrical hazards or fire hazards or anything else. What we don't want to see is somebody going in to help someone and ending up with a second casualty on the scene. The third step is call 911 and get an automatic external defibrillator if they're available and necessary. The first thing you're going to do is check to see that the casualty is breathing. Stop their exposure to the pesticide. That may mean removing clothing from the patient to stop that exposure. Call the Poison Control Center if you need additional information at 1-800-268-9017. Start first aid treatment as required and then make sure the patient gets medical attention if needed. Give the label to the emergency personnel either at the ambulance or at emergency. Using the PCP number for the product that was on that patient uh, will also help them in identifying what their next course of action should be. If the pesticide was inhaled, move the casualty to fresh air. If the casualty is not breathing, start CPR. Call 911. Loosen tight clothing and remove any clothing contaminated with pesticide. If the pesticide contacts the eyes, rinse the casualty's eyelids with clear water. If eyes are open, wash the eyes with large amounts of clean, cool, running water at least 15 minutes. Don't ever pry the eyes open of a patient. Leave that to the emergency personnel. And then contact Poison Control Center or get the patient to emergency care. If the pesticide contacts the skin, remove contaminated clothing and rinse the skin with plenty of water. Wash skin, hair, nails with soap and water at least 15 minutes. Dry the casualty and wrap him or her in a blanket or clean material. Remember if clothing is stuck to the skin because of burns, do not remove, try and remove that clothing at that time. Contact the Ontario, Ontario Poison Center and watch the casualty for signs of allergic reaction or shock. If pesticide enters the mouth but not swallowed, rinse the mouth with lots of clean water, wipe outside of the mouth with a damp cloth, brush teeth thoroughly, call the Poison Control Center for more information. 
If the pesticide was swallow, do not induce vomiting. Due to the fact that some of the pesticides may be acidic, you can also cause damage to the throat and uh, also the risk of inhaling some of that pesticide if vomiting happens. So when it comes to first aid and pesticides, read the label. It'll give you directions on what to do, what to expect, and the symptoms. Let someone know what, when, and where you are. So if you happen to be spraying at another farm, it's good to tell someone that you're going to be back at such and such a time, and if you're not back by then, come looking. Post emergency phone numbers where family, co-workers, and staff can find them. Carry a phone and store emergency numbers in it, so it's right at your fingertips. Keep a first aid kit where pesticides are stored. Keep plenty of clean water, soap and towels, extra gloves and coveralls. And as I said earlier, take a first aid course. Learn to uh, be able to help people out. Thank you.